Um, Harrison has completed his Eagle Scout project in February after installing five informational signs at the sites of Old Stone Foundations on the trails around Hopkinton. And the project involved researching the sites and the families who once lived there, as well as working with organizations around town. And Harrison earned the anchor rank of Eagle on March 3rd, 2022. So Harrison, can you tell us um, a little bit about the organizations you had to work with in town and what was your biggest challenge that you had to overcome during the project? Um, so I worked with um, HALT, the uh, Historical Society, Historical Commission, and the um, Conservation Society, or the yeah, FMLA. Um, so the, probably the hardest part of it was getting the permission to actually uh, basically dig the holes on each area, which is what most of the, what I was reaching uh, out to most of those uh, groups was for, like getting land permission. Um, so yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much. We really all appreciate your work. And I think Mr. Knows Real, did you see one of his sites this weekend that you said? Uh, no, so it's one of the other ones. So. Okay, so I'm going to present you with your certificate, and then uh, we'll have the next scout come up. <coughs> At the end, we'll do a group photo. Uh, Aiden's Eagle Scout project was to build an informational kiosk for the town of Hoppington in the new dog park. The kiosk provides a place for the Parks and Recreation Department to display important information for park visitors. Aiden became an Eagle Scout on February 11th, 2022. So congratulations to you and to your family because they I know they're all involved. So want to tell us a little about your project? Sure, so um, I worked with Parks and Rec to set it up and it, was, it, was, it wasn't that hard to get permits for it. Um, and then once we did get the permits for it, it was just a matter of working through the heat because there was a heat wave going on and then making sure the concrete had set because a hurricane hit the next day. So <laughs> once it was up, it was pretty sturdy. So, and then painting it wasn't too bad either. So now it's still there, ready for display. <laughs> Glad to hear it's still there. <laughs> Congratulations. And your mother's doing a good job, too. <laughs> and dad, and dad. And dad, yeah. Everyone, Collins uh, Eagle Scout project was to build and install 25 trailhead posts and signs throughout Hopkinton advising hikers of the presence of ticks. Before COVID, tick-borne illnesses were the number one cause of illness in Hopkinton. Uh, each post included a tick identification cards as well as brochures to educate residents about the dangers of tick-borne illnesses. Colin became an Eagle Scout in December of 16, 2021. And it just so happens that for Father's Day, I took my family out for a hike, and we came across one of your signs, and you freaked out my, mother, my, my, my wife and daughter. But, uh, but it's good information, and uh, we always carry some, some uh, spray to prevent ticks. Why don't you tell us a little bit about, uh, about your, your project? Yeah, so last summer, I worked with Mr. McAuliffe here. Um, and we really worked together to put up these signs, construct them, paint them, drill on the signs, and then we went to all 25 different spots to dig the holes, put the posts in, put the brochures in, make sure each one had enough tick cards and brochures um, that hikers could stop by, grab some, and you know hike safely and be aware of the tick presence in our town. That's awesome. Now, have you uh, become proficient at, identif at identifying different ticks? Yeah, I have, and using those tick ID cards that are in the signposts, um, they're super helpful to identify which ticks they are and ways to prevent um, getting ticks on you. Absolutely, and with this, the, the various sizes of ticks, too, it's mm -hmm. uh, having those identification cards is, is huge. So you've done a great service to our community, and I thank you, and it's my honor to give you this. And our next scout is Jack Dulcie, who I Dulcie, who doesn't look like he's on the Zoom or in the room. Is that correct? He's not there. So, Muriel, could you at least, and we'll recognize him on the Happily, <laughs> happily I will recognize him. I'm a big fan of this process and, uh, and the Eagle Scouts in particular. 
Um, uh, it represents a, a huge achievement, achievement, and I congratulate <coughs> everybody who is getting recognized tonight um, and all the Eagle, Eagle Scouts in, in Hopkinton that uh, have done so much um, for, for the town. Um, Jack Dolsky, his Eagle Scout project was completed with sponsorship from Chief Bennett and the Hopkinton Police Department. For his project, Jack wrote and produced a video public service announcement to raise awareness around mental health and the jail diversion program the police department has been utilizing for the past few years. He earned his Eagle Scout on June 8, 2022. So congratulations, Jack. Hi, Alex. Hello. So happy to have you here. Alex's Eagle Scout project was to install wooden bridges and puncheons over wet areas of the trails on the Hughes property on Hayden Rose Street, working with the Hopkinton Trails Coordination and Management Committee. He earned Eagle Scout on March 15, 2022. Congratulations and thank you for a great service. I think this is a, I'm delighted to see that uh, you have stepped into community service at such early stage in your life and I wish you all the best. And you're going to George Mason this fall? Mm -hmm. Are you excited? Oh yeah. All right. <laughs> so all the best and congratulations and thank you for your service. And thanks to all the scouts for uh, tonight's great achievement and the service. Th thank you. I, I have the honor and the privilege to present Dan's project. Uh, since he's not here, I, I hope it was me who, who did this project. Uh, Daniel's Eagle Scout project was at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts, creating a flagstone garden path, adding plant identifiers, and creating a website with a map of the garden, plant identification, and to put Shakespeare's quotes. He earned Eagle Scout in August 2021. Then, thank you for a beautiful project. I actually consider it a contemplative garden at the Hopkinton Center for the Arts. And I'll add that um, Daniel was the webmaster for Troop One for a few years, so it was very appropriate that he did a, web, a website for the Shakespeare Garden. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> OK. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Mom and Dad. I let the parents get photos, too. <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations, Thank you. Congratulations to Mom's Congratulations. family as well. Very nice.